Wilson and today we are going to be doing English language. In today's lesson we are going to be looking at subject and verb agreement. Now this is not something new to any of us. We have all been doing subject and verb agreement. However, today we're going to be looking at rules governing subject and verb agreement. So let's begin. All right, so rule number one is quite familiar to all of us. It says a singular subject agrees with a singular verb. Let's look at an example. A Calypsonian composes several new songs yearly during the carnival season. Now, when we talk about singular subject, we're talking about subject of number. And when we say singular, we are referring to one. So a Calypsonian refers to one person. And so the form of the verb that we should use would be what? Singular. And that is why we have a Calypsonian composes several new songs during the carnival season. All right. So we're going to move on to rule number two. And like rule number one, rule number two is quite common to us. So we have singular subject, but now we're going to move on to plural subject. And like singular subject, we're dealing with number. So plural refers to more than one. Let's read what it says. A plural subject agrees with a plural verb. For example, the delegates of the conference arrive at different times. Now, let's look at the number of the subject that we're in question. The delegates, it means that it is more than one. So it means therefore that the subject must agree with the verb and the subject is plural, so the verb must be plural. All right, we're gonna move on to rule number three. And now this one is a bit catchy, so you have to pay attention here. Two or more subjects. When we have two or more subjects joined by and, we use a plural verb. Let's look at an example. The police officer and the fire officer are unsure about the cause of the fire. Now, how many persons are we talking about? Two persons. Who are those persons? The police officer and the fire officer, and they're joined by the conjunction and. So, when we have two or more subjects joined by a conjunction, we have to use the plural form of the verb. Hence the example, the police officer and the fire officer are unsure about the cause of the fire. Moving on nicely. Rule number four. And here in rule number four, we're talking about subjects joined by either, or, or, neither, nor. When two subjects are joined by either, or, or neither nor, the verb agrees with the part of the subject nearer to it. So let's look at the example. It says, neither the promoter nor the boxers expect a massive audience. So let's look at the two verbs that we have. The promoter, which is singular, but is that closest to the verb? No, it's not. The boxers, who are plural, so the boxers are 
plural and because the boxes are plural it means therefore that we have to take the plural form of the verb hence the example neither the promoter nor the boxers expect it, expect a massive audience good we're almost there so we're going to look at singular and plural noun phrase now remember we would have done some time phrases and let's see what it talks about how do we make use of singular and plural noun phrase and what does that speak to when we have to use verbs when a singular noun phrase is linked to a noun phrase by preposition or prepositional phrase such as with as well as and in addition to the verb that follows is singular likewise if a plural phrase is used the verb that follows is plural let's look at an example the prime minister as well as several cabinet members intends to hold a press conference on several important matters now this one is a little bit more complicated but like anything in life there is always a way of getting around it so let's look at how we can easily understand this sentence it says the prime minister and then we have the phrase there as well as several cabinet ministers but is that the subject of the sentence no it's not and so we can take that out and when we take that out what will we have the prime minister intends because we're talking about the prime minister and so when we take out the phrase the sentence the subject of the sentence is singular and so we must use the singular form of the verb similarly or quite the opposite let's look at example two cabinet members more than one now along with the prime minister intend to hold a press conference on several important matters if we take out the phrase we will still have what a plural subject because our subject in this sentence is cabinet ministers and because it is plural it means therefore that we have to make use of the plural form of the verb all right so remember when we talk about singular and plural noun phrase we use we look to see the subject and we look at the noun phrase if we can take out the phrase then we have the whether it's a singular form of the verb we're going to use or it's going to be the plural form of the verb we will use all right rule number six neither followed by plural noun or pronoun when neither is followed by a plural noun or pronoun a singular verb is used for example neither of the two boys was present when the incident occurred what does this mean it means that let's say we have the two boys here neither of them was present and so we have to make use of the singular form of the verb when we are using neither and it's followed by a plural noun or pronoun all right so we have some application here we're going to go through at least two of them and let's see if we are following what's happening it says select the appropriate verb form from the options in bracket to complete each of the following sentences sentence one the judge together with the lawyers and their clients is looking or are looking 
closely at the exhibit produced by the police officers in the terrorism case. Now remember what I said earlier about ensuring that we make use of singular and plural noun phrase. Yes, definitely. The answer is, is looking. The judge, together with the lawyers and their clients, is looking closely at the exhibit produced by the police officers in the terrorism case. Question two, let's go quickly. Neither of the parents was or were present to discuss with the dean the incident of equipment damaged by their children. answer is was neither of the parents was present to discuss with the dean the incident of equipment damage by their children good job so far let's look at exercise three the mason works or work on several housing projects because of his tremendous skill What do you have? That's correct. The Mason works on several housing projects because of his tremendous skill. So now we're going to move on to sentence four. Either Herbert or we is or are relying on your judgment to identify the person most capable of becoming the next Sure person. What do you have? Remember the rules regarding either or? Of course. And so it means, therefore, that we have to use the subject closest to the verb which will give us what? Definitely, either Hubbard or we are relying on your judgment to identify the person most capable of becoming the next chairperson. Five, let's go quickly. Jerry and Gary is or are having lunch at the fast food restaurant noted for its quality service and moderate prices. That's correct. Definitely. So Jerry and Gary are, because we spoke about subjects, that are joined by the co conjunction and. So we have Jerry and Gary, two persons, plural. So it means we have to use the plural form of the verb are. Good. The villagers has or have discussed with the government official the construction plans for a walk over to prevent injuries to pedestrians crossing the busy highway. Answer, that's correct. The villagers 
have discussed with the government officials the construction plans for a walkover to prevent injuries to pedestrians crossing the busy highway. Coming down to the end, there is or are many opportunities available to you in this form. Now, this one is a bit tricky. What do you have? correct there are many opportunities available to you in this form the student council consists of 40 members has or have a decision making role in the school That's correct. The student council has because the student council is one body, although it is consisting of 40 members. So the student council consisting of 40 members has a decision making role in the school. That's it for today, boys and girls. We have come to the end of our lesson. Please remember to recap what you would have done thus far. Continue to stay good and I will see you next time.